Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Earthly Headlines. This time I want to talk about ancient Roman stuff that they found. These are two two different short articles. Due to time constraints, I can't do something too long. But um, let's talk about this first one, which is actually just in Rome. It's uh, su- Rome subway expansion reveals artifacts from the ancient past. So, as with other sites that are stumbled upon, archaeological sites that are stumbled upon they find them because they're building the foundation of a new building or they're demoing an older building or they're building a subway uh, transit system which is the case here in rome they found a bunch of stuff including like this guy says he found some rings some glass work some amphoras but the biggest thing they found here was the dwelling of I think a general, which dates back to Emperor Hadrian of 200 and 280. He's the guy who built Hadrian's Wall. Is it Hadrian or Hadrian? I don't know. Hadrian's Wall. Hadrian. It's a proper house with the central courtyard. The other exciting discovery is that so much of the decoration was found intact. So ornamental mosaics, floors uh, made of marble slab in various co- uh, colors and painted frescoes. So this is really cool. Um, I wish... They would find stuff like this in my city. They're never going to find stuff like this in my city. My city's too new. Um, they have found Indian burial, burial grounds and stuff where I'm from, but they, they not nothing like this. This is super cool. But the coolest thing is about this, this uh, article is what they're going to do with everything they found. So, th- by the way, this subway was supposed to be done in, in 2000, 18 years ago, and all the delays are because of either the investigations into crooked people trying to screw over the government, like contractors and stuff, and uh, excavating. So 18 years and and it still hasn't been done. Anyway, so the stuff that they're doing, this is a fresco, by the way, a painting. says it's part of the charred ruins of a third century building unearthed during construction work for Rome's Metro Sea Line. This is called Rome's Metro Sea Line that that they haven't finished in 18 years. But here's what they're going to do. Everything they found here, the mosaics, everything will be taken down, put inside special containers, and reassembled inside the metro stop. So this station, which is called, what's it going to be called? So it's with an A, Amba Aradam. It's the site of the ancient Roman military barracks. So they're going to have pieces of all the, the other stuff they found, like the pottery and some of the walls, and this barracks are going to be part of the stop it's going to be an attraction which i think that's super neat that's really cool i wish they would do more of that and uh it's a it's going to be a train stop slash museum i think that's really cool I'm, i can i don't know why people wouldn't think it's cool but if you don't think it's cool let me know in the comments all right here's here's a, a little more interesting article this one has to do with germany and they found an old Roman library uh, in Germany, in Cologne, which used to be 2,000 years, around 2,000 years ago, maybe less, a little bit less. The Romans were running that, that part at the time called Germania, I think. Um, and Cologne had a different name, too. I think Cologne was called Colonia, right here, Colonia. Um, and it was the capital of the Roman province of Germania Inferior and a regional military headquarters. Okay, yeah, 2,000 years ago. So it makes sense that they unearthed this, the, the foundations of this old library there because they were, they were occupying that, that spot. Here's a picture of it, the foundations on the right, the, the bottom right of the site where the, where the guys in the green vests are standing. That's the, the ancient foundation of the, of the library. That's super cool. I don't know what they they are planning on doing with it. They should just leave it there, kind of like uh, the 9/11 memorial, where it becomes a memorial. They should probably have. They should probably just make this a, a site, some sort of tourist site. Yeah, I, I think that's that's cool. I don't have m- much to say about this except there are probably obviously way more things that they could find in this part of Europe. Uh, which was occupied by the Romans and that bit they can find all kinds of stuff. I mean, they've already found, let's see, the Romish Germanish, I don't know, if that's how you say it, museum houses more than 10 million objects unearthed in the city. So 10 million in that city alone. 10 million objects in that city alone. So there's probably, 
way more stuff in other cities. Uh, just off the top of my head, there's probably stuff in England. There's probably stuff in Spain, France, um, probably Austria. Oh, you know, everything. You name it. That part, that part of uh, Western Europe, there's probably stuff there. Probably islands, too. I'm sure that there's a lot of stuff that they haven't found. And more people need to get on this. They, I'm, this is a call to action right now. You guys, if you're living in Cologne or anywhere and you have a background in archaeology or you just want to volunteer with the excavations or whatever, go out there and look. do this American a solid and find these uh, Roman sites. Because I'd love to hear all about them. If you have any comments about this, if you guys knew about this already, if there's anything you want to call to my attention, please let me know in the comments. I've got to head out, but thank you so much, and I'll be back tomorrow, ideally tomorrow. I will talk to you guys later.